how to come to Independence Hall. Do, 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 do. Learn about our founding fathers and y'all. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I love Philadelphia. It's an old city, a city that saw the beginning of America, and a new city filled with modern, vibrant energy. And quite often, you can take in the old and the new in the same city block. Independence National Historical Park, home of the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall, and the Constitution Center, places that reflect the greatness of America, and also make me wonder, where are we headed? What's the future of our great nation? To help me answer this, I am joined in the city of brotherly love with someone whom I believe will be a part of shaping America's future, Madeline Page. Madeline is a singer-songwriter who has been singing since she could first pick up a microphone. She appeared on season six of NBC's The Voice, working closely with coaches Blake Shelton and Usher. She released her first album, or eight track, or EP this year, and recently won the biggest YouTuber competition. If you haven't heard of Madeline, you soon will. But even with all this attention, she is still surprisingly down to earth. It's my mom. Today the old will meet the new, right here in Philadelphia. I am tied to That is perfect. We're at Independence Hall. We're at the Constitution Center, the mm -hmm. Declaration of Independence, bulletproof. Yeah. That's what we're learning Seriously, today. Seriously, yeah. Liberty Bell. Yep. Should we go there? Let's do it. It's always fun to see things through someone else's eyes. Okay. okay. So we're going to go up, over. It was apparent to me that I would be taking in this old familiar city through a new perspective. You know what you do when you see yourself in a reflection like this? Stop. Suck in my gut? Sure. Make sure you look good and... Keep going. That's what you do. Hey, I can be taught. <laughs> if I'm going to tell the story of Philadelphia with a new generation in mind, I need to find out how Madeline learns, how she takes in not only the history of America, but the culture as well. Hey, everyone. This is Madeline Page. I am here in Philadelphia, right in front of Independence Hall. And it is such a cool feeling to be here in the place where really our country was founded and our country is now free and because of our founding fathers who were here like 200 years ago and now I'm here where they were and it's just such a cool thing and now I have the ability to kind of you know do my own thing and express myself with my music and everybody can do their own thing because of the things that happened here right here in Philadelphia it's awesome. Do you know Philadelphia has some of the most amazing musicians of all time? No, I didn't know that. Okay do you know who Jim Croce is? No. Jim Croce is a musician born and raised in Philadelphia. He had an amazing career. It was cut short by a tragic plane accident. She needs to understand the legend. Jim Croce is operator. Oh, could you help me place this call? Oh, oh. It's a guitar guy. He's from oh, Philadelphia. Nice. You heard that one? Nope. Operator. Oh, could you help me place this call? Help Sing me it. place this card? Call. Call. You know, back then they <laughs> called operator. This is good. This is why it's so operator. good. I'm all, see, we used to call operators <laughs> on the phone to make phone calls. Operator, could you help me place this call? You could read the phone book and make it say, tell your kids to do the dishes right now. Do it in a song, and I'll, I'll bet kids just run upstairs and start doing the dishes. Do it. Do the dishes? Yeah, well, you gotta sing it. You can't just, hey, do the dishes. My mom can say that, and, and we didn't want to do it. But if you sing it, I bet you can get him to do the dishes. Go ahead, think tell so? him. Yeah, do it. Okay. <clears throat> Go over there and do those dishes. Yeah. Go and take out the trash. You lazy boy. I'm gonna get a Philly cheesesteak now. And a pretzel. And a pretzel. I'm telling you, <laughs> she can sing the phone book. My country tis of the sweet land of liberty of the
started right here. Here's where the Constitution was written. Here's where the Declaration of Independence. Everything right here, this is ground zero of the United States. Here's how this is gonna work. I've, I've just started putting in the cloud, a little bit of trees coming over the top. Independence Hall is gonna come up right here. Yep. Here's the beginning of the statue, but what I wanna do is I wanna put you right there next to Jim Croce, your new Great. best friend. Yes. Operator. That guy. Okay. Anyhow, you're gonna be right there in the front. So how do you wanna look? You wanna be singing, eating a Philadelphia cheesesteak, oh, hey. making a pretzel with the Amish. Mm -hmm. Any of those sound great. Um, let's do, gosh, that's a hard one. Juggling, maybe raking the leaves. Yeah. Uh... She came up with the perfect pose. Here's <laughs> what I'm thinking for the painting. I want you okay. standing right here. We're going forward as a nation. Throughout the day with each new experience, I could see her beginning to understand why all this was so important. What liberty is and what freedom means and what her role might be in the future of America. When you're with Madeline, you can't help but have fun. She had me laughing and smiling all day. Even though at times we were a little stuck in the 70s and 80s, she jumped right in and wasn't afraid to be herself. I could see her embracing a little bit of Philadelphia's yesterday. Hey, you know the Mick, you will be proud. She learned a few dance moves and had her first Philly cheesesteak. That's really good. Madeline, to me, represents the best of what America can be. She's happy, full of light, and grateful for the gifts she's been given. I believe we can all learn more about who we are and where we're headed as a nation right here at Independence National Historical Park. Freedom is for everyone, and yet it is so personal. The future is up to each of us. It's all yours. Find yourself in Philadelphia, yeah. <laughs>Who do you like? Who are the people who inspire you in your music? I love Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Yes. Who's that? Yeah, right. I, I don't know who she is. <laughs> you have to Doesn't know who she is. Doesn't she play tennis? This is my first time in Philly, and I cannot wait to talk to the plug to, okay, I'll say that again. I don't want to choke on that, okay. Oh, hey, look, it's like a field trip. We're doing a live musical here in Independence Hall. Mm -hmm. I am gonna sit on the park bench and feed the squirrel. That's great. <laughs> right into that camera and don't be lying. What's your name? My name is Rocky. Real deal. Oh, this That's is an right, honor. This is an honor. I, I loved you in all your movies, all six of them. <laughs> you gotta eat lightning and grab thunder. I don't know if I can do that. Do it. Give me your best. Um. You gotta eat, wait, say it again. You gotta eat lightning and crap thunder. You gotta eat lightning and crap thunder. <laughs> I can't <laughs> It's the eye of the tiger. It's the... <laughs> okay, goes like this. Cause you've got that change team daydream look in your eye and I got that red flip classic Thing that you like and when we go crashing down we go back every time we never go out of style we never go out of style i'm sorry i kind of ruined it no we make a great duet yeah yeah